It is April 12th, 2017. We're here at 4812 51st Street, San Diego, California, 92115. We're here on the rooftop of the house. We're going to go ahead and inspect the main sewer line. This is the original 4-inch cast iron vent that led down to the original bathroom at one time. There are two bathrooms now. So we're going down this vertical pipe. Here is a new plastic that was installed for the bathrooms that were added. Here we're coming to the bottom of the line here and we have a transition into our horizontal pipe. You can see right here, right back into the original cast iron. So this is 4 inch cast iron pipe. is running under the house in the crawl space. Here we have a transition back to plastic ABS pipe. This four inch piece of pipe has two T-junctions. Got a little bit of debris right there. And you can see on the top of the screen that little cutout, that is the first T-junction. Um, we do have some small little hair debris in there. Um, it does not look like roots. It looks like that is like a big ball of hair that somebody's kind of cut and flushed down the line there. Then the second line, uh, T-junction, kind of hard to see on the top of the screen, is where the laundry and utility sink from the garage empty into this. And then this ABS transitions right back again into cast iron. So you see there's a little bit of a lip there and that's going to be normal with the buildup and deposits you get on the inside of the cast iron so it causes a little bit of pooling of water here. We kind of jump over that. Now here got a little bit of debris in the line and the pipe was relined. So now we see why that ABS section was cut out and uh, redone at those two T-junctions because they cannot reline T-junctions where the two two-inch pipes connect into the four-inch. So this is where the relining essentially coming back in reverse would have stopped, but this is the beginning of the line. So you can see this has all got this little bit of bluish green hue color to it. This is all, see the word, you can see on the left side of the screen there, pipe, lining. So all this cast iron, except for just a few feet from where the toilet's empty in until they connect to this two inch junction we saw, this is all newer pipe um, that was re put in inside the cast iron. So this is all smooth, almost just like normal plastic pipe now. So we're going to continue down this here. This is all the newly colored relined cast iron pipe. A little bit of debris in the line here, so our camera's kind of pushing that along here. Try to squeeze by that. Okay, here we have a turn on the line. The line leaves the house at about a 45 degree angle and it appears to be headed north towards the neighbor's um, uh, unit um, across the driveway. Then it makes a 45 degree turn here and then it's headed straight out towards the street. And as it's headed straight out, we have a transition here into PVC green bell pipe right here. And then right after this transition, right here we have a little hub and piece of pipe. And then as we go across here, we have an actual T junction. This is a white plastic T that the city put in. And there is a property line clean out at this junction. So in the sidewalk, there's a circular concrete lid labeled sewer. And that's where this white T-junction goes up to for access. 
So we'll just continue down across here. This is all new green bell pipe. So the city replaced all of this. So it looks like we should have no issues. A little bit of debris that just scaled on the bottom, just holding up our one inch camera there. A little chunk of paper debris kind of dragging out there. Some build up. Here we go. We just came out of that. And here this line is running across. Again, it's all new plastic. And then here's our T junction right here. So the line is a little under 100 feet long horizontally. We're, we're out about 110 feet, but we have to deduct about 15 to 18 feet for the vertical pipe. We went down through the vent from the rooftop here. So this is the line right here where it dumps into the city where all the neighbors then also connect into. So the sewer line for this house is perfectly fine. We only have a little bit of cast iron for the main sewer that's left and a little bit of cast iron and galvanized for the kitchen, lavatory, sink, um, and the hall bath, and then the laundry. Uh, everything else for the other bathroom is newer plastic and a majority of the main sewer is either relined or has a small um, piece of plastic for the other T-junctions. There was some water under the house. We crawled underneath there. We found where the two dig out spots were where they did these sewer repairs and then one on the side of the house almost um, right near the crawl space entry um, on, off the driveway side there's another area that's holding water. All that water appears to be nothing but groundwater from rain and or irrigation runoff. Uh, we didn't see any rain gutters on the house and so between all the rains, um, the slope of the property and the way the irrigation may be either leaking or over saturating, that's where that water is coming from. We did run every fixture in the house for quite a few minutes including the toilets and every fixture and the water never rose up or started to pool or swirl in any of those three dugout areas. So. They're holding water because, again, they're just lower than the, the regular dirt throughout the rest of the crawl space. And so the irrigation system um, will need to be looked at. The possibility of obviously adding some rain gutters, um, sort of the foundation people had mentioned. Um, and other than that, we could find no current active leaks on any of the copper water pipes under the house and or the drain or sewer lines that are contributing in any way, shape, or form to the three little pools of water we see under the house. So, so again, this line, uh, sewer line is in good working order. There's no root intrusions and no issues at this time that require any repair or maintenance. So that concludes this recording.